What is the tea? The FBI is coming! Y'all already know what time it is. I got the black bee neck on. FBI are coming, hey, to get these girls, hey, what is going on, y'all? This is a special King of Reese TV video. I know I just put up one yesterday, but I was like, girl, I need to talk about this stuff that's going on. Um, and there were some things that I actually didn't even talk about in my last King of Reese TV video that I wanted to talk about, so y'all already know what time it is, so get your headphones. Lee Daniels then finally paid Damon Dash his coin back. Let's give a shout out to Lee Daniels for paying that five million dollars back. Girl, you good with her? Um, apparently, you know, Lee Daniels then went and said her girl, he done probably did some payment arrangements, probably, um, you know, played with some pink pings and stuff, and got these five million dollars. I mean, it's good. I'm glad that his credit is back up to par because, girl, they were dragging your ass while he's out here trying to drag Monique and talk about what she doing. And Monique was saying, girl, shut up, Lee Daniels. Um, Lee Daniels and finally paid this, like, girl. Bravo to you. Bravo to you. Also, since we're talking about Bravo, girl, let me skip over. Um, because that's a report, it might not be true, but there are some rumors going around that Real Housewives of Atlanta producers are not really feeling what the tea is with, with this season. Uh, Real Housewives of Atlanta, they talking about some. Woo! They might have to let some girls go. None of this stuff is confirmed, and I'm not even sure it's the truth, but there are, are some rumors that they are possibly trying to like do some shake-ups and say, you know what, maybe we need to cut ties with Nene, maybe we need to let Candy go, and maybe we need to let Cynthia go and get like a couple of younger folks. I think they are trying to do that a little bit. I think they did that with Shamari. Although Shamari, like, ain't nobody really feeling her too much, her, her husband. She has brought in some tea, like her conversation about, you know, trying bisexuality or doing whatever in an open relationship has gotten people interested and I've been saying that and I told you I'm going to do a video talking about the state of reality shows because honestly we've been seeing the same people for the last six to ten years do whatever and there's nothing else new about y'all y'all can't have any more babies divorces um, bankruptcies with an S like how much other stuff can y'all do for us to be interested because at this point it's just like okay girl we saw that, we experienced that. It's just like, okay, and y'all ain't even cutting up like y'all done like the previous season. Is it because y'all coin and y'all asking for more money? And I can understand why Bravo is saying, look, we need to do something because if we're bringing in 1.8 or 2.5 million viewers, uh, we can't be paying y'all ass no million dollars a goddamn like episode like we used to if we ain't getting that damn shit in advertiser revenue. Like we ain't getting that money like we used to because we're not putting in the ratings. The project becomes more expensive than what we bring it in. I, I, and I definitely understand. It's time for them to cut costs. They probably ain't paying Shamara ass number $25,000 honestly per episode. Um, and I feel like it was kind of a big mistake to let Kenya go honestly. But you know, y'all did what y'all did and it is what it is. But I'm interesting to see what it is because honestly this season has been starting off slow even though we're only on the fourth episode it does feel like okay this is a little drawn out like uh, like uh. so i'm going to be reviewing every episode as best as i can um i know i haven't did episode three but i will get to that so girl let's talk about this marcus video that was posted girl marcus really got on the gram and thought he was plies and offering some information to women that they needed uh, so, Mark, I'm not going to play the video because I honestly don't have enough uh, negative space to give him. Like, girl, I just delete, all delete, control, all delete out of my life. So, Mark has posted and said that basically women, um, y'all are too independent and that y'all make him feel like he's not needed. So, what's the point of him being here? Men were put on the earth to be protectors and all this. Girl, y'all were put on this earth, but y'all can't even help women climax. I mean, girl, have you listened to the women who said they've had sex and they, uh, they've they not experienced no climax or any orgasm and they've been having a fake orgasm and stuff? So, men feel terrified that they're about to be replaced by little pocket machines that you can literally put in your purse and carry on on a flight or some shit to fly away from Marcus' ass or people like Marcus. Marcus should have sat there and ate his food and just mind his business because Marcus, you are not plies. I don't know if you thought that the little thing that you had did sticking up for Brooke on Love and Hip Hop was cute and that you think you finna offer some information like you think you Derrick Jackson or some shit, girl. You don't keep this bullshit. This toxic ass mess that you putting up on our time, like, girl, we are not interested in it. I rebuke you. Like, Marcus really got up there and just got comfortable. Like, men just getting way too, many, too comfortable. And I'm glad that women are saying, look, 
Y'all ass ain't been fucking us right. Y'all really ain't about shit. Y'all ain't paying bills. Y'all half y'all ass is bad credit. And y'all come in our lives and y'all ain't got shit but bad ass credit and bad ass knees. And girl, we don't feel like being lotion for y'all ass. Y'all ass ass individuals. Bitch, if you expect me to be a big ass coat, you better go find past the gray wife, okay? And, and, and find out if she got some old sisters or some shit. Cause bitch, I ain't finna be no big coat for your ass. Now I know y'all have heard the story of this good Christian man. Um, I'm gonna call him the Christian colonizer. I mean, but it's basically the same thing. Girl, he then paid these folks to go over to uh, to this island, this secluded island that has not been touched. Like, and I think it's off, off the coast of India. And girl, like, there's so many laws protecting these people, like this tribe. I think it's Sintalese people. There's so many laws protecting them. And you have to go through so much just to get to the island. And this man went over there, talking about he finna spread the gospel. And them folks threw a bow and arrow in his face. And that's just it. Like, it's just gone. Like, girl, it's no more. It's no more. Like, and people feel like they should have done it. Like, if we are telling you to leave these folks alone, what makes you think that the word that you have is like is law? And I think this is a so real moment for a lot of people who practice some sort of religion that your religion is not the ultimate religion. Like your religion is not the all saying like girl, it's not. And you have to understand that other people have beliefs and you can't sit up here and trample on their goddamn beliefs because you think your shit is right. And that's what happened. And I'm laughing at all these white folks who say, no, we need to, these people need to be arrested. These folks need to be doing this and that. This should not be going on. But y'all the same individuals who talk about some let's build a wall to protect us. These folks got a barrier and laws to protect them and y'all don't even want to listen to him. Y'all sitting here thinking that y'all beliefs are law. And that shit is problematic as fuck. Um, I don't feel any type of way about this colonizer trying to go to this island. I just don't want to hear it. He was told, leave him alone. You were told by Apple Care to leave these folks alone. They don't give a damn about no iPhones. They don't give a damn about what word of God you got and that water down shit. Like, leave these folks alone and mind your business. I just saw a video of Boosie trying to take up for Bill Cosby saying he didn't understand how Bill Cosby in the situation that he is in because Bill Cosby is, is a celebrity and women flocked him. So why would he have to do that? Ooh, y'all don't understand rape. And that is a part of rape culture. For you not to see how people prey on folks, it's not about who is attractive, who isn't, it's not who, who is desirable. It's all about power. And people get turned on by them being able to do certain things and get away with it. And more than likely, folks like who are in power do it because they know they're not going to get caught in this their word against someone else's and their word is always assumed to be right because they are a celebrity and have and have hyper visibility like girl come on get this shit together like oh but boosted ass was in there just not understanding and the person who was sitting next to him was trying to explain but boosted just was not getting it i don't think boosted would ever get it honest i just think that he's just a like a product of just garbage um and i don't even want to say a product of his environment because boosted doesn't even want to be educated because people have told him even when he was out here saying that he wanted his young child his son to go have sex at a very early i was just like who is saying shit like that who is like who is letting stuff like that come out of their mouths like it's just it's just garbage speaking of garbage child <laughs> sis, <laughs> let's talk about this good porn video <laughs> girl Nicki Minaj you might as well went and found the creative genius for the flying pasta because this good form video was not it you looked great your wig was sitting face was B outfits were cute Visuals, some of them were cute, but the edits were garbage. It was too fast. The song is fast beat. Doesn't mean the edits have to be back to back, back to back. Doesn't have to be, it's a twerking video. Like, we expected that the twerking was cute. The women went out there twerking, getting their lives, flew in it out, was here for it. But whatever that, I don't know how y'all was, and it's just, like y'all had this like single latest type of shit. It, it just it just didn't make any sense. Like you could have told a story. Me and Adrian talked about. It. You could have told a story. It, it could have been a storytelling like moment. And I just I, like we got to do more than just put twerking Lamborghinis and a video and, and just in green wigs and thinking that's the work because it's just not it. Um, I honestly expected something better. I really thought she was gonna get it. She had the twins in there. I mean, girl, they could have found like they could have found the scammer to do a better video than this. I mean, it just it just wasn't it. But you look good, your wig look good, but it just 
the video just didn't move me. It just wasn't something I wanted to see again. And Nicki Minaj, girl, <laughs> they still saying you stopping bags. Apparently, Nicki Minaj is the reason why Takashi lost his little thing with Fashion Nova because Nicki Minaj asked Takashi to change a lyric in the song because it was about Cardi B. And Fashion Nova was like, girl, no ma'am. So Nicki Minaj, once again, stopping bags. Um, she like, girl, get your octagon. Um, just stop signing because you are stopping bags. I mean, girl, it, it is what it is. Let's talk about this flying pastor for a minute. <laughs> a very quick minute. Some pastor in Mississippi thought it was a cute idea to slide down like he was about to put some um, clothes on the um, thing and let them dry. It's just, I don't know. I'm sure, I'm sure y'all saw that video. I didn't understand the purpose of it and I immediately started thinking like, is this what we paying tithes for to be like get a performance when we go to church? I guess it is so we can go get all the energy Sunday, take all of it and then go back to our shitty ass lives and you know, God don't put no more on us than we can bear. I'm honestly going to do a video or write about that because I don't like people to say that. And I feel like that's dangerous to tell folks that God won't put more on you than you can bear because what if, he, if, if, I feel like it is, and you're almost saying like, well, God has this, it, for me to go through this pain, I don't want to go through any pains. I, I think we need to have a conversation about that because that is some dangerous shit to expect that we are supposed to go through pain and suffering and we shouldn't be breaking. It's almost like, I, I, I just, I don't, I don't know how to explain it, but I hate to people to say, and I've heard that recently, um, after me coming out, people were saying, well, God won't put more of you, but... Girl, move away from me with that. This is my journey. I don't need anybody to say such and such gave me this. Like, I'm choosing to do this shit, but there are some other folks who are living with HIV and who were living with HIV who just said, I, I, I just, I'm done. I can't do that. And I've had moments, especially recently, where I said, I cannot, I wanted to give up and I cannot wait to talk about that. I cannot wait to tell y'all about the experiences and stuff and folks are saying like they appreciate I appreciate y'all for supporting me like y'all have been rocking and supporting the fuck out of me. Um, even if that's going to kingreach.com buying merchandise and checking the site out. Like I appreciate y'all so much. I love y'all so much. I think that's about all I have on this cute, quick King of Reese TV video, honey. I do have y'all struggle plays coming, honey. I have to make sure that I'm in good space to give y'all some sickening ass content because y'all know I don't play by my struggle plays reads, okay? But I love y'all. Make sure y'all checking out kingofreads.com. Being excited for the new episode of For the Culture Podcast coming up next Wednesday and get ready for these struggle plays because they're coming very soon. Faster than this! Bye, girl!